hopefully we're going to be streaming soon. I'm literally just finishing off what I'm making for you today. How how late in the day am I on this? And it would be so much easier if I could find dimensionals. Dimensionals, I found some. So um, I think prompt is what I would describe to my timing this morning. Um, almost late, but not quite. Let me know how you are and where you are joining from um, while I finish off the project. <gasps> it's been a bit of a few days. Uh, we'll cover some of that later. But yes. So I'm using the Snailed It Suite or Snail Mail Suite, depending on how you look at it this morning. Um, to make a cute little gift box. I haven't even cut all the papers. <gasps> How dreadful. Anyway, there we go. That's just me. I will, I will, I've cut most of the papers, just not everything. So hopefully some people will be joining soon. Um, as I say, I know I'm a little bit tardy this morning. Um, I'm going to change how I do that when we come to do the one here. So at the moment I seem to be Billy No Mates, which is fine. I have no problem with being Billy Mo No Mates. Uh, I know I've not been around for a while, so people are probably a little bit confused about what's going on. But I'm going to give everyone a bit of an update on life at the old stables um, as we get started. So while I'm waiting for you, I might as well cut my card, um, which may or may not be big enough. Let's have a look. Let me have a little look. Let's get another piece out just in case. No, I really am Billy No Mates this morning. It's fine. So, um, as I say, we're going to make a little gift box and this is the gift box. Um, using the snail mail designer series paper um, and I'll actually go through how I have done the sizing so why don't I flip the camera down and then we can go through it so um, I've started with one of the sorry I'm just gonna have to check I've got stuff going on that I need to keep half an eye on um, and that will become apparent in a moment. So I'm using the Snailed It bundle um, and specifically I wanted to make a box that would be the right size for this die um, which is this die and I wanted to use the little envelope as well um, and I've also used this little jobby here. Uh, so I kind of worked my dimensions out backwards, uh, which is often how I do things, actually. Hello, Nora. I don't feel as if I'm Billy No Mates now. Uh, so I started with this as my sort of starting point. So I measured that and it's about two and a half inches. And then I want to have this paper around the edge of my box. And this, when you cut it into strips, because it comes in a strip, um, this is slightly short of three quarters of an inch. Very slightly short of three quarters of an inch. So what I have done, in fact, that's the one that I cut that was too big. So we'll trim that one off a tiny weeny bit. So it's, it's one sixteenth of an inch smaller. Hello, Pam. Hello, Mary. Hello, Claire. It's so nice to see everyone back. It's so nice to be back myself. Um, so, now you see that's still not the right size. So I need this to be one sixteenth of an inch away from three quarters of an inch, which is a really awkward little measurement. But... I want the sides of the lid of my box to be three quarters of an inch deep. 
Hello, Rene. Hello, Lorna. So weather report from South Oxfordshire this morning is that it's looking as if it might be a half decent day. Um, but who knows? So I've got two and a half inches effectively for my die cut and then three quarters of an inch effectively for each of my sides. So three quarters of an inch twice is one and a half. So two and a half plus one and a half is four inches. So let's see if that's going to be. No, it's not. Didn't think it would be. So I've got a piece of Daffodil Delight, uh, which is one of the colours in the paper. So I'm going to cut that at two and a half plus one and a half is four. So I'm going to cut that at four inches square. Um, so this will be the lid of my box. And then for the base, I want the base to be a whole inch from top to bottom. Hello, Michaela. Um, so I want the, the base to be an inch deep. So two and a half plus two inches is five, uh, four and a half inches. This is not going to be big enough. Um, this is not the most economic use of one's card, but there we go. So four and a half. But I always cut morning Audrey. Car was frozen with you this morning. We had a bit of a frost, but nothing quite that bad. So four and a half inches, but I always cut my base slightly smaller than my lid because then you get a nice snug fit. So I'm actually going to cut this at a, at a sixteenth of an inch smaller than my four and a half inches. So just one sixteenth smaller than four and a half inches. It is a really cute little box, you're right. Um, it would be so much cuter if I actually kept all my bits of card together. Is that my four? That's four by, no it's not. Somewhere I have a piece that is four by four. four not that either. Okay, where did I put it? That's my larger piece. Oh dear, it's going to be, oh that might be it. It's going to be one of those days today. Um, as I say, I will explain my interesting life later on. So those are my two bits of card and I'm going to grab my Simply Scored. You can do this on the trimmer but I actually prefer to do it on the Simply Scored. So Simply Scored, I'll do the base first. So my base is going to be have sides that are an inch high. So I'm going to score at one inch on all of the sides. And because I'm doing it on the side and turning it every time, the fact that this isn't quite four and a half inches doesn't matter because I know this is going to be my full inch. And then my top, I'm going to score at three quarters of an inch on each side. And again, if my box is not quite square or my piece of card is not quite square, um, I know that the sides will be simply by doing the scoring for the side rather than for the top. I hope that makes sense. So I need to burnish, which would be a whole lot easier if I could find, there it is, my bone folder. So all of this is being, is being driven by the size of the die cut. So because the die cut is about two and a half inches, slightly under two and a half inches, my box will be two and a half inches. And because these little chaps are slightly under three quarters of an inch high, my sides for my lid will be three quarters of an inch. So I'm going to do this in what I call my Catherine wheel um, box version. So what I'm going to do is trim away a little wedge on this square, cut up with the score line to the right, so into the square, and then I'm going to wedge that score line out. And I'm going to turn and do that all the way around. So 
um, it's like a Catherine wheel. That's kind of the easy way to describe it, I think. So how's everyone been keeping? I have to say, hubby, finally, his temperature seems to be down. Um, we took it first thing this morning before he'd had any paracetamol and it's below normal. Yay! Um, so he's staying in bed. It was below normal all day yesterday, apart from at one point it crept slightly, and I do mean very, very slightly above normal. Um, so he's staying in bed again today. Um, I'm going to do exactly the same thing with my base. Um, so yes, he's staying in bed again today. If he keeps his temperature down all day, I might let him out for supper just for a wee while. Um, but he is skin and bone, poor love. Um, he's really not been able to eat at all. I thought I knew you as Kay. I did, I did. And I'm going, I'm, I owe you an email, Kay, because now that celebration is over, uh, you sent me an email, I can now deal with that. Um, so I will drop you an email. It probably won't be this weekend, but you are in my unread mailbox. Um, right. So I'm going to make up the base first for no other reason than it's kind of boring. So we might as well get that done. Um, yeah, I mean, he has been so much worse than me. Uh, Seal Plus. Now, do be slightly careful when you're using Seal Plus because it's a very strong adhesive and you can end up uh, delaminating your card. So literally peeling the pieces apart. So I always try and start slightly in from the edge of a cut piece um, so that that's less likely to happen. Or you can go down, so from the, from the score line. But because it is such a strong adhesive, it can, the strength can be its downfall as well. So just be slightly careful with that. Uh, and then, of course, you can do what I do, which is stick it to your grid paper. So flip in any extra. And then all I'm going to do is take this cut edge and pop it onto my score line on all four sides. So as I say, this is the boring bit because it's the base. But we need a base in order to have a box. And then just make sure that that is firmly stuck down um, just by rubbing it with your bone folder. So there's the base of our box. For our lid, the first thing I'm going to do is actually cut these to length. Um, now, we know that this is two and a half inches. So let me get my little chopper. Um, we want the length to be slightly under two and a half inches. So two and a half inches is here. So I'm going to go an eighth of an inch down, which should hopefully be about the right length. Yes, it is. It is, it is. In fact, I probably need to trim a little bit off the top still, but I don't think I'll bother. So two and a half inches or less an eighth, so two and three eighths of an inch. That is right, isn't it? It is two. Yes, two and a half rather. Oh, I had a little moment there. So that's that. So two and three eighths for this because I need four. Two and three eighths. So yes, I'm dreadfully behind with everything. I have nearly finished the January thank you gifts. Um, in fact, oh, I have finished the January thank you gifts. I need to do a couple more thank you cards um, and then I can get January sorted out. And I am very close to finishing February's thank you gifts. Oh no, Audrey, that's awful. Good grief. Dreadful. Sorry to hear that. 
Um, for those of you watching on replay who may not be seeing the comments, um, her husband's got bitten by a dog yesterday and the owner didn't really say anything. <laughs> Awful. I have to say that's one of the pluses of not being able to go out at the moment, <laughs> not seeing anyone. Um, right, so these need to be the right way up. Um, so you want them so that their bottoms are on the bottom of your uh, cut piece. And it's much, much easier to um, adhere these things to a flat surface. So before you put your box together. Oh, and while I remember, for those of you who are watching the replay or even now, um, do remember if you don't already subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, I would be very grateful if you would. Um, and if you enjoy the project, please give it a thumbs up. Um, it costs nothing to do either of those, so it would be a great help to me if you would do so. I'm aiming for 10,000 subscribers is my next goal. Um, and I keep going up and down and up and down. Um, and I'm at 9,123 as of this morning, not as I'm checking regularly. But I am. Um, and if you're on Pinterest, I am quite active on Pinterest. I don't do a huge amount on Instagram. I haven't quite got my head around that yet. Um, but uh, yes, Pinterest, you will find me on Pinterest. Right, so I'm just going to pop this box together as well. So again, be careful not to delaminate your card. Of course, it won't now delaminate, so I can't even show you what that looks like. Um, I'll see if I can find a little scrap and get it to do it for you in a moment. Um, it's not the end of the world if it delaminates <coughs> at this point. Um, it's not ideal, but it's not the end of the world. Right, and again, I'm just going to take these, make sure that all of the adhesive is tucked in. The important bit of the adhesive is this side. This goes into the base of the lid. Um, so it's not quite as important, but you do want adhesive on your cut edge at the top. Well, technically it's the bottom, but, and again, I'm just taking the cut edge to the fold line. So really simple, nothing complicated. I can't do complicated, particularly on a Saturday morning. So there's our lid. Oh, let's just burnish that properly so we know it's well stuck and pop that onto our base which because we've made our base very slightly smaller it's a nice snug fit that 1 16th of an inch makes a huge difference so for our decoration I've already die cut the square I've also die cut the little note and the envelope so the envelope is pre-scored, so it's really easy. Um, and I just fold in three of the edges, leaving one of the long flaps open. Morning, Sharon. Uh, and then I like to have the sides, <coughs> excuse me, overlapping the bottom. And then just take a glue dot. Somewhere I have, there it is, a take your pick tool. So we'll get a glue dot and then just pop that onto one of these flaps. Do make sure it's well stuck because vellum is a bit of a, it doesn't particularly like being stuck. So it's just, we're getting a lot of strangers in the woods around the village walking dogs. So hubby thinks it was one of them. Yeah, we get the same. Um, because we've got lots of footpaths around the village, uh, we do get people driving into the village to walk their dogs and generally just walk. So um, I could, I hear where you're coming from. So this is that little note thing. Now, when I did my original, I did the stamping first and it was not a good idea. So I'm going to do the stamping second this time. So just some tuxedo black. And, and I basically just squished those two together. And then just stamp. 
So, my news. Um, for those of you who remember back before I got COVID, uh, you will remember that my father broke his ankle. Um, sadly, he passed away yesterday. <clears throat> Excuse me, frog in my throat. Um, he got an inf or developed an infection when he was in hospital. Um, it was an old issue that caused the problem. Um, and when you're 90, fighting an infection and a broken ankle is not great. So, um, yeah, sadly, he passed away quietly yesterday morning. Um, the nurses were with him, so he was not alone. Um, right, glue dots. But um, actually, now I'm going to use Seal Plus. Um, so, yes, I mean, obviously, it's devastating news for us, but... He had a really full, really good life. Um, so, um, yeah, we are obviously devastated, but as I say, he had a fantastic life. We have been contacting so many people, which when you're dealing with someone who is 80, um, not everyone is fortunate enough to have that many people to... Um, to impact um, and we're getting already I mean we my brother and I had um, a fairly interesting day yesterday letting people know um, and uh, yes I'm putting dimensionals on the back of this um, and um, we've had some amazing amazing um, emails back already um, so yes it's all a bit it's all a bit crap really but as i say he had a really full life we are obviously devastated but the fact that he had such an amazing life is is just great um so yeah hey ho and all that aged 101 lorna gosh uh, yeah, I mean, we lost my mother three years ago, um, and bless him, my father really hasn't got over that, or hadn't, or he should use the past tense now. Um, so we are, you know, as I say, it's it's kind of mixed, mixed blessing. Um, but yes, so... Uh, I will be trying to make sure everything is live when it's supposed to be live, but obviously we've got funeral arrangements to sort out, which will be driven by when things are available. Anyway, so there we go. Let's move move on to a more cheery subject. Um, so there is my little box. Um, I always think little boxes are great for things like jewellery. Uh, you could put um, lip balm, something like that, in there, but... Yeah, so there we are. Quite a quick little YouTube live today. Um, this one's definitely a better placement than this one. Uh, let me just flip back up because we've got to do the inevitable closing shots. So let's come back up because I've got to do the, this is what we made. As I say, if it's good enough for Kylie Batucci, it's good enough for me. Um, who also, bless her, lost her father recently. So, um, yeah, time for a coffee. So, really quick, um, hopefully that has helped with how you do sizing for a box. Uh, I mean, I do it for everything. I use that same method. Um, so, the box that I'm doing for can't remember if it's January or February. Thank you. Um, again, I've just measured the thing that I'm using as I'm putting in and just gone slightly up from there to do the box. Uh, I won't show you what's in it, but this is the box that has um, the, the thank you gift in it. Um, well, actually, Kay, it's quite nice distraction um, because otherwise what would I be doing? It's the weekend. The timing's fairly crap because 
Fridays are not a good day to pass away in a hospital um, because they won't do the administration until the Monday. So we've got a bit of a, we're in a bit of a, a limbo, uh, sadly. Um, but anyway, thank you very much indeed for joining me today. Oh, I just realised that I'm kind of down. Um, so let me stand up again and see if I can get back into frame. That's better. I was slouching. Um, so have a fantastic Saturday. Um, hopefully... Even if it's cold with you, it will brighten up. We are looking for looking forward to hopefully having a brighter day. Tomorrow I've got to dig the last of the potatoes because hubby won't be able to do that and they need to be out of the ground. Otherwise, they're going to think they're seed potatoes. Um, so I've got that to look forward to. Um, and the forecast for tomorrow is reasonable as well. So thank you very much indeed for joining me this morning. I will just put up the end title. Um, but not before I've said, have a fantastic weekend. Thank you for joining me. Facebook Live, Tuesday, 11 o'clock. And then Thursday, YouTube, 3 p.m. Saturday, 10 a.m. So, bye-bye. Have a good weekend.